Hey guys, welcome back to Sly 3. We're going through the Cooper Vault, and I'm stuck here at this wall. I have no idea what I need to do here, but I assume I just need to jump on these, but apparently not. Okay, um... Okay, well, what do I... I have no idea what to do here. Oh, no, 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 not the rocket boots. <laughs> um, I really don't know what I need to do. Um, is there anywhere else I can go? Uh, no. Do I need to go this way? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what the hell do I do with that? I have no idea. Oh, come on! Oh, I hate you. I hate you, barrels. Okay, it's better. Jeez. All right, now, closing in on it. And I still have no idea what I need to do. What the? Oh, this is getting old. There. All right. What the hell do I need to do? I can see the camera aiming me like over this way, but like, see, it's, I'm not, like when I turn it over here, I'm not moving the camera. So I don't know what it's telling me to like look at or whatever, but, I'm very confused. And it doesn't seem like I can land on them, so what am I doing here? Like, I have no clue. Unless I gotta take this and throw it at something? Like, I see another lamp up there. But this isn't the kind of game where you need to do stuff like that. I have no idea, and I don't know why I have no idea. Um, I'm sure it's staring me right in the face. Okay, no, that's where I came from. Is there anything down here, maybe? No. This is really frustrating. What do I do? Need to hit it? No. That's serious. Really? I just never made the jump. What the? <laughs> okay, well, at least now I know that I can jump on them because I tried three times before and it didn't. I was never able to land on them. Ugh. Oh. No wonder I couldn't figure out what to do. I. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When you try something and then it really looks like it just doesn't work? And then when you try it again, it just turns out you barely missed one little thing. Whoa! Jeez, that was close. God, that is just the worst thing ever. Especially for somebody like me, who's got people watching him. You know, because then everybody gets mad at you. And they want to kill you and stuff. Okay. Okay, that's actually really simple. It's actually really simple. It's just, God, I couldn't land that first jump. Whoa. Oh, cool, it's the aviator one. Besides being a thief, Otto Von Cooper was a great fighter ace. 
and mechanic. Yeah, that's cool. The the you know the rotor blades on the plane where they uh was it was the cane. No! Damn it! <laughs> All right, hang on. Really? Just open and close faster, you son of a ass! Thank you. There. Jeez, that one sucks. All right. Can I get some uh, health? Here we go. Cool. <sighs> no. Ooh. Close. No, no, no. Nope. Good. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh! This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the Thievius Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. Um. Okay. Just jump on it. Whoa! Nice work, Dad. Ha! <laughs> yeah. I can surf on beams of light. Holy crap. That's crazy. Up, oh, get on the other one. Thank you. Oh my. Ugh. God. <laughs> so so frustrating. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep whining and bitching. Okay. There. Oh, this must, must be the inner sanctum. I wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Yay. God, that's kind of that's tough. Ish. If you can't figure out that you have to jump on those smashers, then it's really tough. God, hate that part. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. This is going to be the payday of all time! Think of all the loot piled up back there! Do you ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? No way! Sly's cool! We're all in this together! Sure, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly. By himself. Watch out! Dr. M's goons, they must have forced the door after we opened the lock. Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls and I don't want yours to be one of them. <laughs> Come and get it. All right, come on, maggots! And it's chow time. Chow freaking down. Whoa, dynamite! Jeez, why do these snakes have dynamite and fire breath? Or loud screamies? Ugh. Get out of here! Oh my god, they're everywhere. I could go for some health. See, this is where. Oh, there we go. Cool. This is where having one of uh, Murray's power-ups would kind of help. Ow, stop that. Yay, health. Get out of here. Stop slithering around and playing dynamite near me. It's annoying. Go. That sounds like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Or just rare, in general. Get out of here. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Arbok used uh, Hyper Voice. There we go. Have a Pokemon reference, why don't you? Uh. 
Alligators with boxing gloves? Most deadly weapon known to man. At least I think they're alligators. They look like it. Um, yeah, I think it is. Ow. And wow, these are cobras mixed with frogs. Ow. Stop blocking me. There we go. Die, die. There. At least I dropped plenty of health. It's very nice. Oh my god, how many more? Go. Ow. Get out of here. Ooh. Ow. God. <laughs> Look at Bentley just over there doing nothing. You know, how about firing a sleep dart or two into here? That would help. Get out of here. Good. Why do they have boxing gloves? This is so weird. This is so weird. And he just threw a punch. <laughs> Get out of here. Good. Yeah! You're all knocked down, and the Murray stands tall, like a freaking totem pole of strongism! Ah, Murray, you're much stronger than McSweeney ever was. That's right, Plughead! I'm like a semi-truck with its brakes cut! I don't have time to get into a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father? You knew Sly's dad? Quiet caveman, the adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret, I'm smarter than the other guys. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too! Fine, Cooper gang. I tried. Caveman attack! <laughs> this guy's stronger than he looks! Need some help! Bentley, those statues look like ancient security devices. Maybe if you took the treasure off the top of them and put it on Dr. M's back, they might activate. I'm pinned down! Need to fall back on my grapple cam to deal with these goons. Okay. Uh. God, this is so weird. Nice work, handsome. Now get another piece of treasure on Dr. M's back. Murray's not looking so good. How is he beating you? Uh, any guy? Yep. Okay, go to this pipe. Cool. Die. There we go. Great. Crap. No. Oh, wow. I just barely made that. Oh, they're elephants. I think they are. They sounded like elephants. Or maybe they just have elephant heads. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Well, that's pretty easy. Just don't miss your jumps and you're fine. 
Yeah, they're elephant heads. Zap. Well played, Bentley. But it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected positional data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Cooper's only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? Uh, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. You think awesome? Oh, huh? What does that even mean? God, you're weird, Murray. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that you're a shiny Hippowdon, but whatever. This is just overwhelming. Amazing. How Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to banner a little? I only talk with my equals and Bentley said no. the hell? Okay, well, I see the little blue underneath him, but... Okay, can I grab it? No? Because it's giving... It's always giving me the, the jump on there. Come on. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, would this ring go away? Okay. Is that thing gonna go away or not? Apparently not. What the hell? <laughs> Boom. There we go. Good. There. Good. I think I'm going to die though just cuz I'm a little little a uh, little bit low. What are you doing? Ow, ow, what the hell? What the? Jeez! Am I seriously supposed to deal with those things the entire phase? That's really cheap. Like, he's, cr he's moving crazily enough as it is. Do I seriously need to deal with two balls of lightning? Wait a minute. Aha! Gotcha. You're as weak as your father. Now I understand. And yeah, you gotta start all the way over. But yeah, okay. Now I understand perfectly. There. Good. That was lucky. All right, come on. Man, not a sly boat. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Good. Bam! 
Bam! Okay, he's not that bad, actually. Once you understand how to... Uh, oh! Once you understand how to deal with his attacks, he's not that bad, actually. Because I didn't even know how to deal with the electricity bolts and stuff. And this time I won't get hit stupidly by this. Okay, come on, you asshole. Okay. Oh, come on. Whoa! What the? Okay, now he's got electricity after that. Alright, fine. God, this is a tough fight. Whoa! He leaves streams of electricity? Jesus, man. Whoa! No! Ooh! That was close. Come on. Oh! Give me a break here. Come on. Oh! There. Alright. Where'd he go? There he is. Good. Okay, now. Well, the last thing is over here, so. Oh, man! <laughs> oh my god, fire! Lots of fire. Oh my god, move! Oh, you asshole slide! Okay. That's actually easier to deal with than the electricity. That's not, but you get the idea. Jeez, how did that miss me? Okay, whoa, oh. Bam! Suck it! You've got some moxie, Sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I'd do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slight and Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please, keep your touchy feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You Coopers a bunch of dirty attention-grubbing thieves. All of you, thieves! Well, I am a thief. Hold it How did right you get there. in here? Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! No one hurt my criminal! <laughs> no, no! What happened? Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You. You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. I haven't got much time. Let's go. Sly! You in here? Sly?
We watched as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment, the end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card. Only this time, it was worth millions. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing we'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock band class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fatal just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed up while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally, cause I'm building a time machine to find out. Oh man, the hell, Sly so got amnesia. Zhao Jun Wang. Dimitri went on to become a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. Huh? <laughs> okay, how about the other ones? Come on, give me the other ones. Yeah, Kevin Miller, woo! The Panda King returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. Ha! Ah! Dude, come on. <laughs> Toonami? Toonami and all re related care? Huh? The guru returned to the outback and took on some new Dreamtime students one of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> All right, come on. Who, anybody else? Probably not. Oh, man. Sneaky devil. Oh, what? Jeez. That's kind of evil. But hey, not a bad idea. 
Ah, so that is slide three. Uh, I still honestly don't know which one I like more. You know, I still don't know if I like two more than three or if I like three more than two. I think they're honestly kind of equal, but I don't know. I think it's hard for me to choose. I, I really look, love both of them. They're just awesome. So I have no idea what I'm going to do next. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. No, yeah, I'm going to end it here. So, thanks for watching. What the hell? Armadillo looks weird in glasses, but I'm gonna end it off. And thanks for watching. This has been Sly Three, and I'm out. So see ya.